Hey, what is going on people? Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. If you are a content creator, streamer or a gamer, you have to deal with screen recording with OBS. Once again, most of you guys are here because your OBS is performing poorly or you're not getting the quality of video that you need to get. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best OBS settings that can help you to record your videos in better quality, no matter your computer is a low-end PC or a high-end PC. These settings will be really really beneficial so make sure to watch this video till the end. Also this video is sponsored by HelloFresh which we're gonna talk about later and with all that said let's get started. All right, in this video, I'm going to be using Streamlabs OBS as an example over here for the settings, but you can apply these settings to both OBS and Streamlabs OBS as well. First things first, you have to go into the settings scare over here. It is different on OBS and it is different in Streamlabs OBS, but the settings are almost same. What you're looking for over here is the output section where you have to come down to output mode. It is already by default set to simple. You have to click on advanced. And once you are here, you have to go over to the recordings section. I want to introduce you guys to this video sponsor, HelloFresh. That is America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh offers you a wide variety of pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. If you are a student like me and cooking isn't a task for you, well, HelloFresh makes it insanely easy with its meal delivery so you can skip grocery lines and take control of your own budget and time. Why the delicious recipes are delivered right at your doorstep? Also, if you are a gamer, you definitely need some quality protein to keep you up and running. That's where HelloFresh can help you choose a calorie smart or a carb smart recipe where you can customize your meals with the proteins, sides or even veggie dishes. All the ingredients you order are freshly delivered right from the farm and the best part is HelloFresh is 25% cheaper than grocery stores or takeout. It's smart, easy, affordable and I see absolutely no reason not to use it. To try HelloFresh, you can click the link in the description below and you will get 21 free meals plus free shipping plus 3 surprise gifts. It's really interesting, make sure to go check it out. Firstly, for the recording format, I highly recommend you guys to go with mp4 as mp4 files are generally low in size but other files will be really really bulky. Just beneath that, in the recording section, you will find NVIDIA or your stream encoder. By default, it will be automatically set to software x264, but you have to set it to NVIDIA and Venk if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. If you have another GPU, then you can set it to different settings such as AMD. And in case you do not have a graphic card itself, you can go with software. I will show you best settings for each of them, so just follow me. Firstly, for NVIDIA GPU, you have to go and select NVIDIA NVENC H264 new. If the new one is not showing up to you, you have to make sure to update your GPU driver. Once you have done that, set the rate control rate to CQP because VBR and CBR are too outdated. CQP will give you the best recording quality and at the CQ level, you can keep it anywhere between 14 to 18, doesn't really matter. 16 works out best for me, but if that is giving you an issue, you can try changing it up or down whatever suits best for you you have to do a couple of tests with the cq level then for the keyframe interval i highly recommend you guys to keep it to two as it is the best and it will remove all of the stuttering in your video right beneath that you will find a preset and profile for the preset if you have a good high-end computer or a medium-end computer you can go with quality or performance never go for max quality because that is very very resource consuming and if you have a low-end computer, you can go performance or max performance, it depends. Then you have your profile. I always recommend you guys to set it to high. Click on look ahead and psycho visual tuning. You need both of them turned on. And for the max B frame, let it be too. These are the best recording settings if you want to record your game using NVIDIA and Wink S264. Not just game, it works on screen recording as well. 
Now, what if you want to record on X264? Because I cannot provide you guys the AMD settings as for now. But the CPU settings or the software X264 settings are right in front of you. If you're using the software X264, I had recommend you guys to use the CPR rate control. And for the bitrate, you have to set it with trial and error increase or decrease your bitrate with the intervals of 500 until you get the sweet spot that you are looking for for me somewhere between 4000 will work perfectly fine i will get the quality that i need but it depends what kind of a video you are looking to shoot if you are looking for a gameplay you will obviously need a higher bitrate because otherwise you will get those uh, quality loss and squarey blurry videos so you have to set it way up than 4000 but if you're recording your screen with minimal movements i highly recommend you guys to set it somewhere between 3000 to 5000 it will be really really good once again for the keyframe interval always keep it to no matter what you're recording it will remove the stuttering from your video cpu usage preset i highly recommend you guys to go with very fast profile should be once again high or main tune would be none and yep, that is it with the best recording settings using your CPU. Then you want to locate to your audio settings and then you will find sample rate over here. It depends upon the quality of microphone that you're using. You may be having a 44.1 kilohertz microphone or a 48 kilohertz microphone. Now how to know? You have to simply search for sound settings over here. Now once you are in the sound settings, you have to go all the way down until you find the all sound devices. Then you will find input devices over here. You have to select your microphone and you have to look at the format over here. For me, it is two channels, 16 bit and 48,000 Hertz, which is basically 48 kilohertz. If it is 44.1 kilohertz for you, you can set it to 44.1. If it is 48, you can set it to 48. Then scroll down over to the video settings and then I highly recommend you guys to always use your base resolution and do not upscale or downscale just record your video as it is then for the downscale filter if you are running a super low-end computer go with bilinear if you have a medium-end computer with say gdx 1050 or equivalent graphics go with bicubic and if you have a super high-end computer or any rtx series graphic card over 2070 2080 or something like that go with Lanxos. it will take a while after you record a video and it will give you the best quality of video possible for the fps type go with common fps and set this to 59.94 or in short say 60 but say if you want to record your gameplays on a higher fps go with fractional fps and set the numerator fps to whatever you want to record it i like to record my videos at around 144 fps so be it now in the advanced section keep your process priority to normal leave everything over here as it is make sure to click on force gpu as render device so that it does not use your cpu if you are running a laptop once you are done with these settings these are all the settings that you need click on done and you are ready to record your games once again guys if you face any kind of issues choosing your bitrate or the best settings make sure to leave a comment down below with your specs and i will try my best to help you guys out i hope this video might have helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below it seriously helps me out a lot we are really close to 100 000 subscribers and i believe in you guys we'll see you in another brand new video until then stay tuned and peace out